I'm going to start off by putting the uh, wing and the stab together. Put the bag aside, you'll need that later. First thing we're going to do is lay the wing out. See the two ailerons here. We'll take your blender and hinge tape, stretch off enough for the, the length of the aileron. And the closer you get to the aileron, the better you can see it. And you want it right in the middle. And just slowly lay it down without any tension. You don't want to stretch the tape. And after you let go, if you've stretched it, you'll want to pull the aileron into a bend. Let's see, there's a fold. We'll just pull it back off. We haven't pressed, we're not pressing hard here. Just trying to lay it down nice. Looks good. Little wrinkle there, it rolled out. Good. Now we can start from the center, just push out. Put the aileron over. Cut the tape off right off at the end of the knife. Put the air out over, start at the tip. If the, if the tape is bending down like this, you can go ahead and take it and, and rub it up a little bit like this, and that helps a little bit. See a little better. Make sure the print lines up. Once you get started, see I'm bending the aileron up slightly here at the inside. You can make adjustments and, and you want basically no gap in there at all. But no overlap either. That one's done. And with the next one. Deal. Flip the aileron up. Pull another strip. And the overlap here on the blue is is basically th about three sixteenths of an inch. That's real simple. What you do is you just take your uh, thumb and push the tape down onto the first beveled surface of the aileron, all the way down, stretch it around just like that. Now again, on the aileron beveled side, or the wing beveled side, and just slowly roll the tape over to the wing. There's your hinge. Go to the other wing. We've got some extra tape here on the end. We'll go ahead and trim that off now. Next step will be to glue the wing centerpiece in, in, into the middle of the wing here. And you want to line up this uh, Sharpie marker pin and the ink 
Okay, it's going to fit good, good gap on each side. This is where you use the plastic bag that the airplane came in. You don't want to glue the, the wing down to the table, so we'll go ahead and use that plastic as a barrier. I'll be using foam safe CA on everything unless otherwise stated. This is a medium thickness. Also, you want to use a foam safe accelerator as well. First thing I'll do is I'll, on the, the side with the ink mark, I'll put a bead of uh, foam safe CA down the center. All right, down the middle. And then spray the back of the wing with your accelerator. Push the wing down pretty hard to the table. Lay this piece in there. And slowly slide it forward. Looks good, looks good. Okay, it better be good because it ain't moving now. I'm going to go ahead and wipe out any excess accelerator CA off with a paper towel. Next, we're going to install the spar. Uh, the way you do that is you pull the tape off, pull the spar in, pull it slowly so that you don't pull any ink off. As soon as you take my X-Acto knife into the corner, it's a hollow tube, and just pull it out. Foam safe CA, going to bead right down the middle. And then I'll go ahead and spray the spar with the accelerator. Put it in back into the wing. Run back and forth. Get this bag out of here now. Make sure the wing's nice and flat. And put a bead down each side of the spar. Once again, we can set that aside. Now it's time to do the stab on the stab. Same way as you did the ailerons. On this, I tend to hold it, hold it like this, and stick one side. Use the stars as a good alignment. The center stride up, that way. Very good. 